Hey guys, it's Sandy. I want to show you a simple DIY. This is a survival DIY. It's a way to have light at home. So just in case of natural disasters, power outages, blackouts, and EMP attack, you need to have a source of light at home. So I'm going to make one with lamp oil, and I'm going to make one with a cooking oil, and I'm going to show you how to make both and how they compare. This is super easy to make. It gives a lot of light, so it burns longer than a candle, brighter than a candle also. The wind is blowing, but look how pretty this is to sit out on the patio. You could make quite a few of these and just have a really cool ambiance. If you needed to put them inside, then you could. They do have a black smoke that you can kind of see a little bit of smoke coming off. I'm not sure what that does inside. So if any of you guys know about lamp oil inside, if the black smoke does anything, let me know. It says it's safe to use indoors. Um, if any of you guys know, just let me know. You only need a few items to make these and you probably have most of these at home. So stick with me and see how to do this. The items you're gonna need for this project are a mason jar and a lid with the ring, wicks, which I got that off of Amazon, a hammer, a chisel, a piece of wood, and some kind of oil. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure out our wick. So the way that I like to do it is I know that if I had the jar here, I see how much I need, and then I wanna make it longer so that I can actually use it in the jar. So I just kinda of wrap it about halfway around, and then I'll know about the length that I want for my wick. So I'm just gonna cut that off right there. And now I have plenty of wick to go into the jar so that as it burns, I have enough wick to keep pulling up so it'll last longer. All you do is place your chisel over the lid and give it a few quick taps. You have to push this a little bit hard. Now you wanna choose your chisel the same size as your wick. And if you're using a round like rope wick, then take a nail and make the whole opening. So now I need to pull the wick through the opening of the jar or through the opening of the uh, top that I made. Uh, it's just a little bit tight, you can see, to get it through there, it's not quite going through. So all I do is take my chisel and just open it up a little bit more. Just poke it in there, however you need to, just open it up a little bit more. And now let me see if my wick will go through. Aha. So I get a hold of it and then I can just pull it straight through like this. So I want to put it where I've got just a little bit right out of the top of there. And then this wick is in there pretty tight. If it is not, you guys, make sure and take your chisel and just push down to make it tight enough because you don't want your wick to just be loose and fall straight down into the jar. So make sure it's tight enough that it will not be moving up and down. You can pull it up when you need to, but it's not just gonna fall down in. Okay, so now let's fill up the jars. You have the option of using a lamp oil, which is what I'm gonna use. I have seen plenty that use a some kind of a vegetable cooking oil. I will say it doesn't burn as brightly whenever you use a vegetable oil, but you can use this. You don't have to use lamp oil. Or I even saw where somebody one time used alcohol. It burned really bright, but it also burnt the wick really quick. So my choice is lamp oil, um, just because it's actually meant for kerosene, or it's actually meant for lanterns, and it burns really bright and it burns really long. So just take your lamp oil and pour it into your jar. I filled it about three-fourths of the way up. I didn't want to go all the way up to the lid, just to leave a little bit of air in there. And then place your wick down into the lamp oil, replace the lid, and then you need to let it sit and let the oil absorb up into the wick. Now you may not have a mason jar, so I just grabbed these jars out of my refrigerator just to show you as an example. You could use a small jam jar, or this was just a salsa jar, and you just need to remove the lids. Well, first of all, clean them out very good. Wash them with soap and water. Remove the lid, and you can do exactly the same thing that you did with the mason jar lid. Is just put it down with your chisel and make a little opening at the top for the wick. So. 
it was a little bit plain looking and I wanted to make it a little bit nicer so I just took some plastic leaves that I had off of a plant <laughs> and just stuck them down in there. You can leave it plain. It doesn't matter if it looks good but I just wanted to look a little prettier. Josie. Hi. So I waited five minutes for the oil to really saturate the wick and now let's light it and see how it goes. So the more wick that is out, the taller the flame that's going to be. I probably could have shortened that down some. It looks like I have a flamethrower in my hand, <laughs> but um, it works perfect. So you can see that's just a really cool, super easy way to make a lantern. You could put like the glass rocks in it if you wanted to, to make it look a little different. Me... Will you hit that like button below and comment? It really helps me out. YouTube shows my video to more people that way. To distinguish it, you just blow out the flame. So now let me show you how to do the one with the cooking oil. This is canola oil. You can use whatever kind of cooking oil you want. And then you're doing the exact same process of pouring in the oil, putting in the wick, and then letting the wick saturate with the oil. So we have the one with lamp oil and the one with a cooking oil. This one is a canola oil. So let's see how this one lights now. Even after letting this wick sit for a long time, probably at least a half an hour, it still isn't lighting real well in comparison to I only let the lamp oil one sit for about five minutes and it instantly saturated the wick and lit. So after 10 minutes, the vegetable oil one has gone out and the lamp oil one is burning bright. So the lamp oil is definitely the better one. So I wanted to do one more experiment. I wanted to try olive oil and see if maybe it was just the canola oil that wasn't burning. So I put the olive oil in, I let it saturate for a long time, and then I lit the flame. But as I watched it for a while, as the flame burnt the wick down, the flame also got lower and lower until it was actually just out. And it was only like uh, maybe 10 minutes at the most that it actually burnt a flame. So. I really am not sure as far as the cooking oils. I think the lamp oil is definitely the very best source. It does have a little bit of a smell. I did read that you could put essential oils into it, like put in some rosemary or some lemon or something into the oil as it burns. So in my opinion, the lamp oil is the way to go to make your DIY lamp oil lantern.